You know what affects many millions of people across the world? It's gotta, gotta be diabetes. diabetes. And you know, diabetes is a silent killer because you know what symptoms you could have? Nothing. And that's why we want to screen for this disease. So a common question my patients have asked me, and it's gotta be highly tested on the boards is, well, how do we screen for type two diabetes? And you know how many ways there are? There are four main ways to screen for uh, diabetes. Let's just kind of rattle these off together. What's gonna be number one? Well, you could do a fasting blood glucose. Now, let me just stop right there. When we talk about blood glucose, I don't mean just a little prick in the, in the finger right here, because this is gonna be capillary glucose. Now I'll tell you something, that if my hands are cold, my blood pressure is low, I have poor circulation there, it may not be as accurate. So if I really wanna screen for diabetes, do you know where I need the blood from? Yeah, I need it from this vein right over here. So I wanna do a fasting blood glucose, and that number is greater than what? 126, sure, that's gonna be a positive screen for type two diabetes. Let me just stop there for a second and say, after one screening, is, is it over? Should I just say that you are a diabetic the rest of your life, put it down in their insurance card? No, of course, you wanna check it maybe one or two times when you do this. So after that, what's another way to screen for type two diabetes? Sure, hemoglobin A1C. You know, in the olden days, and I hate saying that, that the hemoglobin A1C was basically to see how is your blood sugar managed over a period of time, you know? But now we could use it as a screening tool. So if your hemoglobin A1C is greater than what number? I know I hate memorizing too, I'm sorry. If it's greater than 6.5, yes, that's a positive screen for diabetes. Give me one more way, what's way number three? Yeah, I don't do this that often, but there's something called an oral glucose tolerance test. Ugh, you gotta chug some glucose and they check your values after a certain period of time. And do I do that commonly with my patients? Probably not. Who really uses that? Yep, it's those ob doctors, right? We do that during what? Pregnancy. That's when we worry about what? gestational diabetes. And usually when to screen for gestational diabetes, we'll do it somewhere between 24 and 28 weeks. And for those of you who are taking USMLE, step one pearl, what makes mom a diabetic? What hormone am I thinking about? You got it, that's HPL, that's human placental lactogen. And when does HPL peak? Somewhere between 24 and 28 weeks. And people always ask me this, why does this cute little fetus want to make mama diabetic? Well, the answer is the baby, the growing baby, the placenta, all these things need what? Glucose. And by making mom insulin resistant, they could utilize that glucose even more. But let's not get off topic. You know, what is the fourth and last way to screen for diabetes? I'm not a big fan of this, but it's a random, random glucose. glucose greater than what number? Yeah, 200, but stop right there. It's not just a random greater than 200, you gotta have the signs of diabetes. And why do we do that? Is because, you know, many things could give me an elevated blood glucose. Let's say I'm stressed, let's say I'm exercising, let's say I just pop some steroids like prednisone. So the definition by the American Diabetic Association states that not only do you have an elevated blood sugar greater than 200, but the symptoms of diabetes. And who can tell me the classic symptoms of diabetes? Well, I think of those, those P's, right? Polydipsia, polyphagia, polyuria, you're hungry, you're thirsty, all those things, there's frequent urination. So those, my friends, are the four ways to screen for diabetes to help your patients out and to pass the board exams. Hey, if you like tips like this, pearls like this check out my website it's beyondthepearls.net there is a podcast link my podcast there's some awesome books my books and a lot more free videos over there so go check it out